So I'm standing here in the purple room now. So this is a purple room. It's long and narrow. This is the second room. We'll be working on these two rooms, getting them done. Hopefully in two hours, we're going to show you that process. So begin this process, we're going to be coming in here, laying down drop cloths, masking, and then painting. But we want to get paint on these walls really fast, a thin coat. So somebody's going to be rolling these walls really quickly and skim coating them, so, skim coating them so that it'll dry really fast so we can get our second coat on. So one person is going to put leg drop, begin laying the drop cloths down, running paper, pulling switch plates. Another person is going to be doing the ceiling edge cut-ins and quarter cut-ins, and another person is going to start the cut-ins behind the masker, and we're going to be cutting in using our caulking and tape method. So here we go. Here's the process of painting this room, so just watch and stay tuned. So some of the tools we're going to be using to do this, we got drop cloths, we throw drop cloths down on the floor. We're going to be using a mask, a hand masker to mask around the edge to control splatter going on the floors. We've got an 18 inch bucket, got an 18 inch roller with nap, we, uh, with a nap, 18 inch nap, that's a 3 8 inch you know, nap. We've got our cutting buckets, two cutting buckets that have 4 inch rollers and 3 inch angle sash brushes. Got our tape, we got one inch tape to run around all of our edges, and I believe that's it. And here we go, we're ready to go. All these tools and accessories, you can find them on my tool store at theidahopainter.com, or you can find them in my video description below. You can check it out. So, here we go. So, we're starting, I'm running around doing our nice paper tape. We've got uh, one person, John's removing lines. We've got lines in here. We've got Zach, he's starting to run the one inch tape. Greg is actually taking switch plates off. Yeah, Greg here is running switch plates, pulling them off. We have Zach over here. He's starting to run one inch tape. John is actually pulling the blinds. We've got blinds on our windows that got to come off. So we're pulling them and labeling them. So we're just cruising right along. It's been probably only about five minutes. I don't know who's got a time is it? Anybody got a time? Anyone? 159. 159. 11. 11.59. And the floor is covered right here. I've got my 18 inch roller. I'm gonna start rolling the walls. Gotta get some paint on these walls fast. And I've got the GoPro cam here, so we're gonna show you what it looks like from the point of view of the roller. So here's GoPro cam all set up right here, ready to go. We've got a roll of ceilings in this room, ceilings and the walls. There's some holes in the walls and John's actually running around spackling the holes. We got some you know, nail holes and just a little bit of spackling that we're gonna do too. So he's hitting that, getting the GoPro the GoPro panel right here. So this first coat of paint we're going to be applying, this is just going to be a thin skim coat. We want it to dry really fast. We've turned up the heat pretty high in here, which will actually aid in the drying process to help it dry really quick. Okay, Greg, he's getting all the drop cloths laid out down here. And then we got, you can see our 9 inch paper is run all around the floors too, so we don't have to get our drop cloths all the way up to the wall. 9 inch paper, we got John's already starting to cut in around the ceiling edges and above door panels. So got Zach, he's already masked this thing up. I don't even think it took him, but less than 10 minutes, probably less than 10 minutes to run all his one inch tape everywhere. Now he's starting to do his cut in.
So it's only 12, 16. We haven't even work, worked in 20 minutes yet. We've got this all one coated now. We're moving to the other room to give this a chance to dry. We've cranked up the heat at least to at least 80 degrees, so it's pretty getting pretty dang hot in here. We've opened up the windows to help get rid of some of the humidity also. That's very key and essential heat and eliminating humidity to get this to dry fast. So we're just gonna continue on here, just got a few little cut-ins, and then we're moving to the next room. We are doing multiple coats in this room, so just to explain the cutting process, we cut everything in, but up against the tape, we just came about this close to the tape. We're not gonna to touch the tape right now or caulk it on the first coat. We just got our coat just uh, our first coat of walls on, first coat close to the tape. On our next coat is when we'll actually caulk the tape and then roll the wall, our second coat. So now we're moving into our second room, putting our drop cloths down. We're gonna get, begin rolling the walls in here now. Working right along in this room, got Greg's, he's finished putting the paper, he's laying down some drop cloths, got John's cutting in, and Zach is running the one inch tape. I've already started rolling the first coat on the walls and the ceilings. So we're back in the first room now. This is all dry. It's been approximately one hour. We got the other room all first coated and all the cut-ins done. And because this wasn't dry and fast enough, we actually turned on a fan to help it dry, but we went and did a third room and got that one all first coated. Now we're back to this first room and it's been only one hour. Now we're actually running our caulking around our trim and then doing the final cut-ins around that. And then I'm gonna be going right behind them doing the second coat on the walls with this and may end up taking three coats maybe on the purple room. I think this one's gonna be one coat in this mint green room, but we're all moving back into this room now. So we got Greg, he's doing the coffee cut-ins and I'm rolling right behind him, and then he's pulling the masking off, and then John's just following up, doing the edges and corners. Yes, I'm just chopped liver. Oh yeah, I forgot about Zach. We use Zach. <laughs> Zach's doing something. He's hanging out underneath the camera. See, you can see got the final cut ins over here. Just, just got the windows cut in. Greg's finally getting those finished up, but we're gonna be moving on to the second room. And we're about an hour and 15 minutes into this. We're just pulling masking. There you have it. This was our mint green room here. So it's now, it's 1.30 now. We started at 12, we're in our second room now. So we've worked in an hour and a half. Got the first room done, this room done, and we uh, did our first coat on the third room. 
So we're going to try to get this room done here in the next 30 minutes and have two rooms done in an hour. So we're just cruising right along this room is almost done. We're gonna move to our third room. We'll be cleaning up, pulling all the masking. And here is 1.45. We're 15 minutes shy. Uh, I think we'll probably have this done in that amount of time. The paint's drying a little bit slower in here. We may have to go back and roll a third coat. I'm looking at it. This room, because it was that vibrant purple, there are some spots that may need an actual third coat. But we're gonna, it's extremely humid down here because of all the rolling we've been doing, so it's gonna uh, be slow to dry, but we're, we'll see if we can get it done. We're gonna crank up the heat even higher to try to get it to dry faster. So right before doing your second coat of paint, walk around, make sure there's nothing you miss spackling because you'll see things that you didn't see before. Using a quick dry self-priming spackling and a spackle knife to go around and spackle these holes and then I'm gonna roll my second coat. So that's actually 207 now. We've got the first room done. This room I'm doing just uh, finalizing the window back there but I'm cleaning it all up. And this room is all done so it's been just a little about five minutes over two hours now. We're gonna have to come back in here. I think this is gonna take uh, another really quick coat. It might take you know, 15 minutes to go over a coat, a third coat on these walls because of the purple color. You can see what it used to be on these doors right there. So probably about two and a half hours total to do these two rooms, the walls, ceilings. Um, the first room was two coats on everything. This room is gonna be three coats on everything. And we actually did our third room over here. And so we're gonna finish up that room too. We'll see what it, how long it actually takes to do these three rooms. So there you have it, we have two rooms that we got done in just over two hours. We've added the third room. It's gonna be approximately three hours to do these three rooms. I'm gonna walk you through these three rooms. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you got any tips or tricks or comments, please leave them in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up or a like, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel at the end of the video. And we'll see you on my next video. I'm gonna walk you through the three rooms now that we actually completed. This was the purple room. You see it's all done. Walk you through the, this was the green room, I believe, here. This one's all completed. Just doing a few little trim touch-ups. <laughs>